Chico, California rolled out the red carpet for Area Shooter's historic night in baseball. The Knuckle Princess, dubbed by the Japanese media, showed poise and also surprised the crowd of 4,000 with some shining moments. During pregame, fans lined along the bullpen to catch a glimpse of a much heralded knuckleball. Her manager, Gary Templeton, an ex-Major League All-Star, admits she has work to do. Teammates protect her and try to treat her just like one of the guys. Way she traveled a long way to be here, so you know there's still a lot of things she's got to learn. Still a lot of maturing, she's, you know. And, and I think the more games she pitch in, the better she's going to get. You know, like just like yesterday, they came and got her and told her to come in the locker room, you know, just to give her a breather from the press. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, like I said, they're protective of her, and she understands that they brought her in and had a little kangaroo court and stuff, <laughs> and had her involved in it. So, I mean, did she get fined for anything? Uh, First day of court, everybody gets fined a dollar. What'd she, what she get fined for? The 18-year-old Kawasaki Japan native opened two new pages in baseball history. As the only female to pitch both in Japan and the United States. And she also got an RBI single with the bases loaded. Without a doubt, the most exciting moment of the night. The crowd of 4,000 packed Nettleton Stadium on what was ironically dubbed Girl Power Night. Yoshida's next start, June 12th. Yoshida has incredible work ethic. Her catcher Mike Rose said after a spring training game, she came out in the third inning, she went to another field and ran all the way into the 11th inning. If you look over to her dugout, you'll see her much of the time working on mechanics or improving a grip or talking to a coach or another player on how to improve. The fans have embraced the knuckle princess. She has become the darling of Chico. Both fans and international media attended Yoshida's post-game news conference. She was a little bit tough on herself, but the fans were not. 20 out of 100. That's the score she wants to give to her wife. Sheena, we're proud. We're so proud. <laughs> Former Yankee farmhand Juan Velasquez took Yoshida deep, but still impressed. I just think that maybe she was a little nervous. You can kind of tell, you know, little butterflies running, maybe. Um, but other than that, she's got some good stuff. And to, to, to see a girl at a professional level, it's, it's something new, new and interesting. Yeah. I mean, just excited to see her get ready, get out there. The fans were into it. She, you know, she threw a lot of strikes. You know, the first thing was just phenomenal. She got three, you know, guy got on, and she got a double play ball, and she comes up the bat. You know, nobody expecting much from her, and she gets a single, knock and run. I mean, pretty much a perfect night as far as being her first game here in the U.S. What do you think about it? She did so good job. Like she pitched and she hit the ball. It was great. What did you do when when you saw her get that hit? I was scream, screaming, screaming. Like, <laughs> so much fun are to you see gonna, her. Are you gonna come back and see her again? Yes, for yeah. sure. Do you th do you know that three hundred thousand people watched her on the internet tonight? Yeah. Yeah. All over the world, people is watching her. Ari Yoshida's debut included pitching a scoreless first inning, capped by an RBI single that sent her into the history books again, as she became the first female player to get a hit in American baseball. At that point, with 4,000 fans cheering at Nettleton Stadium, Golden Baseball League Commissioner Kevin Alcott turned to me and said, she can run for mayor. From Chico, California, Phil Riccobono, Baseball.com.